Hello students, welcome to the English lesson for sixth grade. I'm teacher Kate and today we're going to learn, work and have fun together. Добре дойдохте на част от по-английски язик за шесто отделение. Аз съм teacher Kate и днес ка ке се дружиме, ке учиме и ке работиме заедно. А, да почнеме днешният час е насловен како greetings and common expressions. So, we are going to talk about expressions which are really important when you meet someone, how to greet them, and how to get along in different situations uh, in everyday life. See, these are two children who are meeting each other right now, I guess. Тели на часот. Денеска најважно от овој час е да научите соодветно да се изразувате со кратки искази кога се запознавате или во било какви секојдневни ситуации. Исто така, правилно да ги изговарате научените изрази, односно оние кои што ќе ги учиме денес, и правилно да ги пишувате. Ова ќе го постигнете само да колку повторувате при вежбите заедно со спомена и сомена, но и кога ќе препишувате во вашите тетрадки за таа цел, you have to get ready and take out your notebooks, your pencil or your pen. Let's start. Uh, to, uh, as we said, today's lesson is called meeting and greeting expressions. And as a first activity, I would like you to close your eyes and imagine a situation. So close your eyes and imagine that you're meeting someone. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you meet someone? Someone that you know or someone that you don't know? What's the first thing you say? Probably you guessed right, that's hi, hello, good morning if it's morning, good afternoon, good evening, and then you ask, how are you? You answer, I'm fine, thanks, thank you, all right, fine, not bad, pretty good, great. So these are the most common expressions that you're going to use when you meet someone and you already know them, but it's good for you to revise them. But what happens when you don't know the person that you're meeting or that you're talking to? So we guess that you're shy at the beginning. Follow this conversation. Hello, my name is Kate. What's your name? Hi, my name is George. Nice to meet you. How old are you, George? I'm 12 years old. What about you? I'm 12 as well. So what did you notice here? We have the most common greeting expression, word, which is hello. And then once they, they, they've introduced each other, they say, nice to meet you. Uh, now, Kate is asking for information. How old are you, George? And George is answering, I'm 12 years old. But he wants to know more information about Kate. And he asks, what about you? And she says, I'm 12 as well. So, hello, hi, nice to meet you. What about you? These are expressions that we use when we don't know someone and we want to know more about them. Let's revise. So, on the question, how are you, we usually give these answers. Fine, thank you, or fine, thanks. And you? So, more information, you ask for more information. Very well. And you? Not too bad. What about you? Hi, I'm Karen. What's your name? I'm George. Nice to meet you. You say nice to meet you when you meet someone. That's, that's the polite thing to say. Nice to meet you too, George. So you're saying that as well. It's your turn now. Let's fill in the gaps in this conversation. We have a conversation with missing sentences or expressions or words. We have one, two, three, and four. First, let's read the dialogue with the gaps. Hello, my name is Mark. I'm James Percy from Microsoft. Nice to meet you, James. Blank. I'm from the United States. And you? I'm from Berlin. Who are you with? I'm with my boss, Mr. Gray. James? Blank. Maria. She's our manager. Nice to meet you, Maria. And now we have a blank space. 
Now look at these sentences. Nice to meet you. This is actually these are expressions. What's your name? Where are you from? You have to fill in the four dates with these expressions, questions, words. I'm going to give you several. I, I, I think that you already know the answers, but I'm going to give you several seconds to think about them and then we'll work together. Let's go. One, two, Well done, I think you're already done with this exercise, I mean done by looking at it. Uh, but we are going to work now through it together. Uh, we said that we have to fill in these gaps, one, two, three, and four, with the sentences. Nice to meet you too. This is, what's your name? Where are you from? Um, let's do this together. I think you already did great. We, we've seen hello. The most common expression actually word my name is mark what's your name so the first gap is what's your name we are asking for more information i'm james percy from microsoft nice to meet you james as we said we use this sentence expression nice to meet you to express that we are really pleased to meet the the person that we don't know so now Mark is asking for more information again. Where are you from? I'm from the United States. And you? I'm from Berlin. Who are you with? I'm with my boss, Mr. Gray. James, this is Maria. So the third sentence, the third gap is this is. Now with these two words, this is, you're introducing someone new, a new person to the conversation. She is our marketing manager. Nice to meet you, Maria. And what do you say back? The fourth gap is nice to meet you too. Well done, I think you did great. Now let's add a few more everyday expressions. Um, we'll, well, I'll tell you several situations when you have to think about what you're going to say when someone says, for example, I have a math test tomorrow. So this person has a test tomorrow and we guess he's anxious to get over with or to start with this test. What do you say? What do you wish him? What do you wish to this person? You say, good luck. So this is a great expression for you to learn. What do you say when someone sneezes? Achoo! You know this, we have this in everyday situation at the classroom and everywhere. You say, Bless you. That's right. Bless you. Now we have another situation. I have to be home on time and I'm too tired to drive. Even though this is a dangerous situation to drive when you are too tired, we see in this situation that this person has to be home on time. So you're really worried about them. What do you say? Be careful, please be careful on your way home. You left your notebook in the classroom and you don't know how you're going to write your homework now. What do you say? Oh dear, now how am, um, am I going to write my homework? Next is, I'm sorry, I haven't got any money to go to the cinema with you tonight. So your friend is really sorry, but they don't have any money to go to the cinema with you. Do you get mad with this situation or you just don't care and you find another way to be with them? What do you think? I think you're excellent friends and you're going to find another way to spend the night with them. You say, never mind, we will watch the movie at home. So this is an excellent expression for you to know, never mind. Don't worry, we will watch the movie at home. Your friend says this time, I won an award at the school competition. I guess you're really happy for them and you say what? Congratulations, well done. Keep up with the good work. Now please take time to open your notebooks and write down these expressions in your notebook. 
these new expressions such as good luck, bless you, be careful, oh dear, never mind, congratulations. Take your time and once we are done with this lesson, please go back, go back in the video and rewrite these expressions in your notebook, okay? Let, let's see what's next. It's your turn now. We are going to do some exercises. I'll give you some situations and you'll think about what to say next. Let's see. Your friend says, I've got a new job. What are you going to say? Think about it. First, we'll see the situations and then we'll think about the possible and correct answers to these situations. I've got a new job. This road is very dangerous. We can't go to the cinema today because I have to work late. What do you say to these situations? I've got a new job. I guess you're really happy for your friend and you want to congratulate them. What do you say? Congratulations. Good job. This road is very dangerous. You're driving on a re really, really dangerous road and someone is really worried for you. What do they say? What, what do they say to you? Be careful. What about the situation with the cinema? Because you have to work late, you can't go. You say, never mind, we will go some other day. Now let's see these situations. Have a nice summer holiday. I've got a job interview tomorrow. Achoo! Someone sneezes. Your book is on the floor, oh my god. Let's start with the first one. Have a nice summer holiday. What's the polite thing for you to say? Thank you very much. You too. I've got a job interview tomorrow. Good luck. Achoo! What do you say? Bless you. Your book is on the floor. It will probably get dirty and you're a bit worried about that. Oh dear, now it's all dirty. Okay, let's sum up this lesson. I guess you already know and most of these expressions, but it's good for you to revise them and I hope you learned something new. Uh, so to end up with this lesson, I have to tell you to always be polite, always say please and thank you. Don't forget to use these new expressions in your everyday language. So always say bless you when someone sneezes. Always say congratulations when someone does something good. Um, after this video is finished, as I said, go back through the video again and write down the new expressions in your notebook. And to end this lesson, I wish you to have a great day. Bye.